what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. It's Willie D, y'all, and we bull is giving out free money. That's right. Get six free stocks when you open and fund a new account today. Here's how you get your free stocks. Open an account, deposit any amount, get six free stocks. That's it. Open an account with WeBull to get your first two stocks, each valued at up to $300. Deposit any amount to receive four additional stocks, each valued at up to $3,000. Fam, all you got to do is click on the link in the description to get your free stocks now. What's up, family? The Magic Kingdom was looking more like a WWE ring after two families went toe-to-toe in a massive brawl on Wednesday. The rumble went down at Disney World in Orlando as tempers started to flare inside the theme park's fantasy land. The families were near the exit of Mickey's Feel Her Magic Theater, where a woman left the line to retrieve a cell phone she left on a nearby wheelchair. When she returned, she tried to rejoin her family, but according to a report by Walt Disney World News Today, that's when things got violent. Another family dressed in matching Disney-themed red and white outfits took exception and blocked her way. That's when it hit the fan. Ding, ding, fries and shake. Now, fights at Disneyland is nothing new, but this may have taken the Mickey Mouse shape cake. They say, uh, this is according to Walt Disney, there has been an uptick in fights at Disneyland since the pandemic. They say they've already had 12 this year at that location in Orlando. Let me tell you something, fam. I don't know who started this fight. I don't know if those reports are true. Whether they're accurate or not, it still seems like something that could have been avoided. If somebody ain't put their hands on you, it seemed like this could have been some, this is something that could have been avoided. If the reports are true and the family in the red and white actually blocked the woman's way, knowing that she was with another group, I would say that ain't cool. Fam, you know, it ain't nothing wrong with letting somebody get their place back in line. You know what I'm saying? And if they're with a group of people and they all got they got matching shirts on you know that that person is with the, the, the other group let them through so i don't know how that went down i don't know really what was what, what was said but uh it is also being reported that when it really kicked off is when one of the guys when they were at the exit one of the guys who's with the other group that had the green shirts on said, told the uh, the group in the red and white that they didn't appreciate, he didn't appreciate how they uh, uh, pushed his sister, something, something, something to that effect. And that's when, you know, they started exchanging words, it, you know, it got profane. And then next thing you know, ding, ding, fries and shake, it was on. But this seems like something that could have easily been avoided. Fam, this is what I want to know. What happened to the days of being on your best behavior when you're with your children, knowing that your first job as a parent is to protect your child? How are you going to protect your child when you out there fighting? You, you know, you squabbling. You're supposed to be at a theme club, a theme uh, park for your child. You're not even really supposed to be out there for yourself. You're supposed to be out there for the child, you know, for the, for, for the kid's enjoyment. But you fighting. It's like, damn these kids, I feel like fighting. Damn these kids, I don't have any self-control. I know sometimes it's hard when people get in your way, when people violate or whatever, it's kind of hard sometimes, even if you have your child with you. But that's when you got to step it up, fam. You got to put your antennas on. And you have to also set example for your babies. 
Because the next thing you know, your babies will be out there mimicking your behavior. They have no self-control. I don't know about you, fam, but when I was growing up, never did I see an adult fighting at an amusement park. Yeah, sometimes kids get into a scrap, but adults, never, I never saw it. But recently, man, these grown folks is out of control, even at kids' games. You know, you go to a football game, a basketball game, a baseball game, the adults just been took over, acting like some damn fools. Look fam, this is coming from somebody who spent many, many, many years with a temper that was easily triggered. And I had enough presence of mind once I brought children into the world to at least be protective of them and say, you know what? I'm gonna fall back on that. I'm gonna try to stay out of the way on that one. I've had, that was a time when, you know, it got really, really gangster once and I almost went there. Oh, I got so close to going there. But I had not only my son with me, but I had his friend. And that, that's just like, uh, you know, double responsibility. Like, you gotta protect these babies. And you, you know, if, if they would've saw me get down like that, fam, it would've been over. You know, because it wasn't just me. It was some other people, you know, uh, that was with me. And they, they wanted it too. And I'm glad they didn't have to see that. I'm glad they did not have to witness that. Because it would have been bad. It would have been real bad. I'm talking about international news type bad. But thankfully, you know, everything got squashed. And we was able to move on. But just to go, just to show you how things work out, one of the guys who was the main person that was on the other side, we cool as a fan now. Ain't that something? That's crazy. This is a situation that could have easily been avoided. All the adults that was involved was dead wrong. Heard one of the adults from that had the green shirt on called the black people a monkey a couple times it looked like an indian guy he was like yeah acting like animals my monkeys you know where they got that from america you know that's where they got it from but anyway fam all of them were out of line uh if you ask me and they all took a trip to the security office at the theme park. Don't know what became of it, but it's just not a good look. Not a good look at all. Something gotta be done about these fights, man. Something gotta be done about these grown ass people fighting at these amusement parks and these uh, facilities that, are, that cater to children. Come on, fam, we gotta do better. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Damn.